what is going on YouTube and welcome to a brand new video so as you guys know the Pelicans they have Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins obviously they need a strong point guard Drew Holiday's having an iffy season I believe I want to see where he's sitting at right now actually he's at 16 points actually not too bad uh, seven assists but as you can tell by the title of the video the goal for this video is going to try to Get Chris Ball and get him back to New Orleans. Can you imagine Chris Ball, Anthony Davis, and DeMarcus Cousins? Can you imagine the pick and roll situations these guys could have? That is going to be the goal. So we're going to go ahead and simulate to uh, the end of the season. And let's just see if we make the eighth seed. Because honestly, I really do want the Pelicans to make the eighth seed. Because it would be an interesting series between... Uh, the Warriors and the Pelicans, but sadly, I don't think it's going to happen in uh, real life NBA because I think the Nuggets are running away with it. The Blazers are, are on a two game win streak now. No, that might not mean anything, but I just don't know if the Kings, or the, not the Kings, but the Pelicans put it, can put it together and uh, make the eighth seed. So, uh, James Harden wins MVP. Joel Embiid, do you think? Do you guys let me know in the comments? Do you guys think he deserves to win Rookie of the Year? Only playing 31 games. Just let me know. Six Man of the Year, Tyler Johnson. Jeez, they had three uh, players win though. Okay, so wait, Six Man of the Year, Tyler Johnson. I didn't know this guy was a Six Man of the Year candidate to be honest. And then most improved. Okay. Um, they both make the All NBA first teams, but that is not the point of the video. We're gonna go ahead and see about the playoffs. Who cares about this? Because the goal. For this offseason is to sign Chris freaking Paul and bring him back to New Orleans. I think that would be an absolute great fit. You guys already know he already verb verbally, remember, verbally committed to re-signing with the Clippers. But, you know, you know how that is with Clippers players. You know, DeAndre Jordan uh, kind of screwed over the Mavericks by verbally agreeing with them. But then, okay, so... I'm getting distracted here. Let's go straight to uh, league meetings. That's where we always go first. I'm getting distracted. Uh, I always just reject these. I honestly don't even read them. Staff signing. I don't even think we have our pick. I'm going to fire Alvin Gentry just because Steve Kerr's negotiation. And hopefully somehow, some way, we get Chris Paul. So now this is actually kind of also a rebuild so i kind of want to get rid of the players that we really don't need because this roster is honestly full of bumps i mean if they have bird rights on uh drew holiday they could almost bring back uh drew holiday as well if they really wanted to um god there's terrible contracts let's just get rid of almost all these guys i like tim frazier's contract not bad get out of here just get off my team both of you jesus why the Pelicans give all these bums these kind of contracts? First rounders, I'll take that. Who else can we give away? Tim Frazier, Solomon Hill, terrible. Jeez, like, I don't know. Just bums getting freaking money. It's just kind of dumb. Just like some of the players on the Blazers have terrible contracts. Check Diallo, I'll keep him. And then Amir Ashik, perfect. All right, so now our... Cap space should look a little bit better. Cousins is on a manageable contract as well. So, uh, I don't think we have a pick, but I will check just in case. We have a second rounder and the 11th pick. I really don't need it, so let's go straight to rookie sign-in. Uh, no, you're honestly not going to help me in this video, so... Three million for Dante Cunningham. So this is the guy we're gonna try to go after. Even if he doesn't want to come to us, I have a trade over right on it. You best believe I'm grabbing him. Okay, so Chris or uh, Drew Holiday is sitting there. Uh, no. Okay, Chris freaking Paul. So come to the team, please. Don't you dare say no. Okay, what else does this team need though? They honestly, uh, we're gonna have the point guard situation figured out. So we need just a few role players because that's going to be some beast uh, players right there. So, uh, like, Rudy Gay coming to New Orleans would be pretty cool, but that's just too much money for this video. Tariq Evans would be kind of cool to bring him back. 
uh, for that kind of contract, I might actually try it. Uh, Bogdanovich has been low-key balling with the Wizards lately. Wouldn't mind him either, man. He is balling with them. Power forwards, and we have big mans. We could sign some backups, but that's all I really want. Solinger can come to the team. And Taj, wouldn't mind him either. Or Randolph. I actually love Randolph as a backup. He's actually pretty good off the bench in this game. Otto Porter would be nice. That would be kind of key right there. That would be pretty nice. Uh, shooting guards. We don't have any shooting guard. Caldwell Pope would be cool. Tim Hardaway. Uh, JJ Redick, knockdown shooter. Wouldn't mind him either. Contavious Caldwell Pope. All right, so let's see who accepts on the first day. Randolph, I like that. Uh, everybody else is kind of iffy right now. So hopefully Chris Paul. Caldwell Pope accepts. Chris Paul is still there. Interesting. Otto Porter accepted other offer. And Tariq Evans accepted other offers. So, um, Caldwell Pope would be low-key pretty cool. Um, I might get Bogdanovich, but I'm going to decline uh, Taj Gibson for now. And then, let's see. If, ooh, we ran out of cap space for him. Probably because of... Uh, how much are we down? Okay, Caldwell Pope. You might have to be low-key traded, Caldwell Pope. I just signed you, but I got to get rid of you. I need to free up some cap space. Like after the transactions, I traded Contavious Caldwell Pope for Chris Middleton John Henson. Got rid of Henson real fast, and then I traded Chris Middleton away for Zach Levine as he is a cheaper option. Zach Levine shooting guard with a $3 million contract. So let's see us go sign Chris Paul now we still have money f for him hopefully he comes to the team and he accepted the other offer we don't need Solinger we might need Red. no we don't need Reddick right now okay all right the decline for right now Chris Paul don't worry don't you worry we're gonna get Chris Paul check Diallo Chris Paul Wait, I don't have trade over right on right now. Hold on Since right now we have Chris Paul Tyrus Jones Tim Frazier one of these guys got to go shooting guards small forwards. I like the uh, Actually, but Don Davinci is pretty cool. Anthony Davis. All right So what we really need is to get rid of either Actually, I'm gonna plan on is Drew Holiday still sitting in free agency? He is still there, so what I'm gonna and he has no offers. So what I'm planning on doing is gonna get rid of both these point guards we have, and maybe get a backup shooting guard or a backup five, backup three. I don't know. Let's see what we can get for these guys. Um, backup five. Uh, we're actually getting some quite a bit of nice offers here. So. Kyle Quinn might be the move right now. JJ Berea. Kyle Quinn, backup five. And yeah, that's fine right there. Kyle Quinn can sit at the back. I feel like I always get Kyle Quinn, but you know, he's a cheap option. So, all right. So now we have backup um, fours and backup fives. I don't like our backup three. So, Dante Cunningham is probably not going to do it. So. Let's get rid of him, and let's see if we just get probably nothing. So let's just trade him, free up a little bit of cap for us, even though that probably freed up nothing. So Drew Holiday, since we have bird rights on you, uh, let's just give you a max, because why the hell not? And you could be the sixth man off the bench. Shooting guards, I think we needed a backup. Tony Allen for the minimum, I will take that. And... We needed a backup three, I think I said. Iggy. Ooh. Joe Ingles. Shabazz. All right, so we, we need a backup shooting guard, I think it was, too. All right, Tony Allen. Oh, I accepted the other offer. Can't freaking speak. Okay, Iggy. Drew Holiday. Don't mind that. That is some pretty good stuff right there. 
Iggy wants to come win another ring. So Drew Holiday is our backup point guard. Jesus, this team is pretty damn solid. We just need a backup shooting guard. That's that's all we need. That's all we really need right now. And then this roster is set. So Dion Waiters want to come for cheap. Gerald Henderson and Clark might be my option that I actually like. Unless if any of these guys can move to the two. I don't know if any of them can. So I'm just going to go with Ian Clark with the benefit of the doubt. And then that is going to be our roster for this upcoming season so here we are the start of season number two and this is what the lineup is looking like so you got chris paul zach levine buck bojan bogdanovich anthony davis demarcus cousins zach randolph drew holiday andre Iguodala, and kyle quinn and ian clark so those are some nice pieces here to come off our bench why is the lineup a little unbalanced I have a backup four, backup one. All right, so, oh, we don't have a 10-man rotation on. That's why. So now that we have our 10-man rotation on, I always love running 10-man -man rotations. And this is a pretty nice. This is pretty nice. So uh, I'm going to roll with this team. So let's see what would happen. Chris Paul teamed up with Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins, man. I'm excited. Let's see and let's get it. End of the season, though. Do we have anybody on these teams? We did I skip over anyone? I don't think we do, so it must have been balanced. But we went 64 and 18. Look at our roster, pretty beast roster. And then player stats uh, Anthony Davis with 17 points and 10 rebounds. Mark Cousins with 10 rebounds and 14 points. Chris Paul with 15 points and 8 assists. Standings. Let's see how far away we were from everybody else. The Warriors went 50 and 32 and are the fifth seed. So let's just get right into it. We're facing the Houston Rockets first. Same team pretty much. Let's see if we can just sweep the Houston Rockets and go on to round two. And they get one. But, okay, they're evening it up. Let's get them. Okay, we're going to game seven with the Houston Rockets. If we lose, I'm going to be pretty upset at 2K. Because 2K likes to screw me over a lot in rebuilds. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me right now, 2K? You are not doing this to me. Wow. Wow. No words, man. 2K does this to me all the time. I should not be surprised right now. I really not. I really should not be. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Well, what would you guys think if Chris Paul decided to go back to New Orleans to join up with DeMarcus Cousins and Anthony Davis? Would they win a championship? You let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a little like on this video punch that like button and as always this is crush bulls and i'm saying peace